As some of you may know, Destroyer2009 is one of the biggest hackers today on Apex Legends. Actually going into game files and hacking streamers during one of the biggest tournaments in competitive gaming and hacking their PCs to give them aimbot so they can see everybody and basically ruining ALGS so the devs actually had to postpone the tournament. And there is actually a article by TechCrunch where they interviewed Destroyer2009 there is also a interview that Mandy did with him and we're going to go ahead and check out what he actually said in this article. But if you guys do enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel as it helps me out a ton and I really appreciate it. But yeah, let's go ahead and check out what is in this article right here. So it says Destroyer 2009 declined to provide details on how he allegedly pulled off hacking the two players mid game of which specific vulnerabilities he exploited. I really don't want to get into details until everything is fully patched and everything goes back to normal the hacker said the only thing destroyer in 2009 said regarding the technique he used was the vulnerability has nothing to do with the server and i've never touched anything outside of apex processes and that he did not hack the two players computers directly the hacks were never outside of the game he said destroyer 2009 has said he did not report the vulnerability to respawn on the video game developer that makes Apex Legends because neither the company nor the game's publisher Electronic Arts offer a bug bounty program that financially rewards hackers and researchers for privately reporting security flaws. They know how to patch it without anyone reporting it to them, he said. Talking about the hacks that he did during the tournament, Destroyer2009 said that he went viral, but not many people would have used an exploit like that in a absolutely innocent way for players. Just imagine if it wasn't a joke and he didn't put any memes in the cheat. I'm pretty sure you can ruin someone's career if they had a cheat pop-up on a tournament, said Destroyer2009, defending his action in attempt to show that he never had malicious intentions because as you can see on the hack menu that came up on jen burton's screen it did say tsm how hook and then it also said on one of the boxes vote putin so you can obviously tell it's sort of a meme and then it says when destroyer 2009 allegedly hacked one of the players and inserted cheats into their game a window appeared on the player's screen showing a menu for a tool that you can use to enable different cheats in the game one of the options in the cheat window was vote putin destroyer 2009 said that the window is a part of a real cheat software but not one that is public and whose menu was slightly modified for the hacks on sunday the hacker also said he targeted those specific players who go by jen burton and imperial how because they are just nice guys free attention and views for them he added the two players did not respond to multiple requests Quests for comment. On Tuesday, Respawn, the studio that develops Apex Legends, posted a statement on Twitter addressing the incident. And then, as you can see on Twitter, Respawn actually put on Sunday a few professional Apex Legend players' accounts were hacked during an ALGS event. Game and players' security are our highest priorities, which is why we paused the compet competition to address the issue immediately. Our teams have deployed the first of a layered series of updates to protect the apex legends player community and create a secure experience for everyone thank you for your patience respawn entertainment so as you can see in aogs a bunch of people were hacked and basically destroyer 2009 just went ahead and addressed everything pretty much to do with hacking all the players accounts and all sorts of stuff like that but yeah let me know what you think of the interview type thing he had i think it looks like he didn't have any bad intention he was just pretty much gaining popularity off it and giving the streamers popularity as well and neither of the streamers have been banned i don't think i know imperial how did but he's probably gonna get his account back hopefully but yeah that's gonna be pretty much it for today's video hopefully you guys did all enjoy and i'll see you all tomorrow